Hello everyone and good morning. So this morning we are in the Tasker pad and Joe is cooking us some breakfast. I just burnt my elbow and I feel like my elbow is the size of a thousand forest fires. I love that. Would you like a runny egg? I will have yes. Would you like, <laughs> hang on a minute, how many are you have? Well, these eggs, maybe, I've laid them myself. And as I said before, you'll know they're organic. So I laid them myself. <laughs> Thank do you, know you, you Joe. Lay, do you know how you lay an egg? You, you, uh, how? <laughs> Normal size pan versus <laughs> the egg pan. <laughs> it's so funny. Is that your favourite thing? Yeah. I like it. It's cool. And there is somebody else here. Lee Hinchcliffe. Do you want to tell them why we're all speaking like we're reading a script? Are you feeling it insecure, Lee? Not me. Are you I am insecure? not here today. The cattle ranch is <laughs> feeling the wardrobe. Amazing. Lee, yeah, Lee, I want food. <laughs> I'm getting sausage next time we can do you want We're getting food now? What? I never cooked anything in my life. No. Do you want two sandwiches or one sandwiches? How many sandwiches do you have? There's an option of two or one. that one? That one's an upside down egg. I have that as well. Mm. Why are you serving an upside down egg? Because if it was the right way around, then it would not be upside down, it would be side up. <laughs> We went to Thorpe Park yesterday and it was really good. It was like a fright night, a uh, press night. Um, so it was like fast track. You could just get in any ride like really quick. So that was really good. Oh, and um, <laughs> what? Plus the park is closed. So oh, it's closed it's just yeah. specifically for so Korean and fast press. Track. So that's why there was no <laughs> public there. Where everyone really I feel sorry for those people that didn't go in the fast track because that's where everyone was meant to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be queuing in for bloody hours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well the park was closed and it was just for press. Really? Yeah. It was like a press night, um, just for like creators and stuff. It was really good. And then I don't really know how I ended up here. None of us did. No, it just happened. So, but basically, it's kind of worked out for the better though, because um, I need to be in London anyway to travel back up to Manchester. And if I was still over in Hazelmere with Jacob and everyone, I would have had to get like an hour and a half train. Um, to London to then get like another two and a half hour train to Manchester. So, I mean, that's cut out some of the tra travel at least. Joe spilled some water. <laughs> you got to eat! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Lee looks genuinely concerned. <laughs> Snapped off. Oh, Daddy, that's the third one this day. <laughs> it's already on Amazon, so it's for here. a new mop. Whoa. What oh. is this beast? That's a big bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> are you tempted? <laughs> what are those? What are those? Oh my god, what is she up to? <gasps> I need that on my tap. Come with me. This tap needs that. I need a poo. Yeah. Oh, I mean, <laughs> I need a poo. Are we all staying in for this one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I sit here and poo from your legs. Well, that took a turn. Goodbye, Joe. Goodbye. Thank you for entering the Tasker Pad. See you next time. Take care. And as I say in France, Je me pal. Get your nipples out. Get your nipple pal. <laughs> You're full of tooth balance. Bye, oh. princess. So I have just landed back in Manchester from London, thank God, and I'm in H&M right now. And I've just picked up quite a few clothes that I'm going to try on. Yeah, um, I didn't vlog any of my journey because I find that journeys are really boring and you probably don't care. So that was a very quick transition from London to Manchester, but here I am. So yeah, I'm going to do some shopping in H&M because I walked in H&M with really low expectations, but they've actually like upgraded quite a lot, it seems. Like there's some really good finds. I've also found some high-waisted camel pants I've been looking for for ages. So I'm gonna try those on as well and uh, share with you how I feel about them. <laughs> and these are the cigarette trousers and I do really like them, but I'd like them even more if they were high-waisted. So I have been looking for high-waisted camel pants for the longest time. So this is like actually a moment of truth. Okay, so far so good, but it is tied. So I have to like tie these now. I'm so happy, this is exactly what I wanted. I hope the pockets are real. <gasps> they are, I'm so happy. <laughs>
from that shopping trip these are the only things i'm getting which is the sports top and the uh, camel pants my new babies so basically i came into selfridges i went to the off-white section because i'm currently obsessed with off-white and i see these and I've literally just put a pair of camo sweatpants but I thought because these are obviously like but obviously because these are really good quality these would be like my more going out ones and then I might like sleep in those and use them as like my loungewear ones okay I don't know I don't know if these fit a bit weird or not um because obviously the men's so they do fit like slightly differently I'm hoping they don't give me a flat looking bum though because the men's so they often do So I just came out um, from uh, the fitting rooms and I ran into Ellen here. <laughs> you right? Hi, so you said that you were shopping around him. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was what having a look at, at um, Gucci Ace sneakers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love them. I want I the B them. ones, you know? Yes. B, the B's yeah, amazing, definitely. I love that. She also said that you watched Carmi. Yeah. Who said that you watched? Carmi, I watched Jacob a bit. Jacob? Yeah. Jacob's he's lovely. Funny. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he he's is. Funny. Um, anyone else you can think of? Um, not off the top of my head. Uh, Kira Spencer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 Kira and Spencer. I watch Morgan as well. Um, oh, Morgan. Morgan. Yeah, yeah, do you know yeah. about Morgan and Kira? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's obvious, isn't it? Kira. I really want some apple. AirPods, but I don't know where they are. The camera died, but I managed to pick some up here. I hope they're good. I just my friend has some. My friend has some, and they just seem so good. And I want to be able to lay down in bed and charge my phone and listen to music at the same time. And this is the only option to be able to do that. So yeah, just grab these. Oh my god, I have such a story to tell you about Nando's. So I just went and sat in Nando's by myself and ate because I was really hungry and I wanted a Nando's. And there were these people on the table next to me and they were on a date and I could tell it was the first date because they're asking each other like first date questions. She's basically a makeup artist, she travels all over the world, does makeup for Kylie Jenner, Caitlyn Jenner and also Beyonce and stuff. I don't know if it was true but she just said that. And then he says to her and he goes, so is Bruce Jenner a guy or a girl? And she like flips at him and she's like, she doesn't like shout or anything but she's like having a stern word with him kind of thing. And then they just sat in silence for the rest of the meal and it was the most awkward thing I've ever, I got secondhand awkwardness from it, big time. Still slightly scarred from the Nando's experience, but now I came home to some P.O. Box mail. I want to tell you a quick little story time because I'm really triggered. Um, so my old YouTube network used to like manage my P.O. Box and then when I left them, they said if we can keep getting you brand deals, we will keep your P.O. Box and keep sending you the items. If you don't know, YouTubers have a P.O. box, which is basically where all their mail is sent to. So brands will send PR products to YouTubers. You guys can send letters and stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, so my old network used to manage my P.O. box and I never used to get sent anything. And I thought my P.O. box was just dead and no one was sending anything to it. Until I kind of thought, wait, maybe they're just not sending my stuff. Maybe they're selling it on. Maybe they're giving it away. I don't know what they're doing, but I'm not getting any mail. So what I did was I just purchased a P.O. box through Royal Mail and that's what I'm using now. I've had my P.O. box for about five days so far and I came home to like quite a bit of mail. Not like a lot, but like a little bit of P.O. mail. Um, and, and that's for having it for like less than a week. And it made me realise that my old YouTube network were mugging me off and not like sending me any of my mail, which is really, really annoying and I've lost out on a lot of mail from them. So yeah, I apologise to you guys as well if you ever sent me mail and if I never thank you for it, it's because I literally didn't receive it because they didn't send it on to me. The first bit of mail right here is from Benefit. I can already tell by the pink packaging and it did also... And this did also come in a bag that said Benefit on it. So yeah, this is the box. Okay. Oh, I think that means there's false lashes in here. Oh my God, if there is, I'm going to be so happy because I've just run out of false eyelashes and I was going to get some more, but I haven't yet. And if there's some in this box, I'm going to be so happy. Oh my God. Benefit, I love you. I actually love you. Oh my God, thank you. These are all false lashes, but they look so fancy. I think you'd wear these if going on like a night out or something where you want quite dramatic eyes. And then you've got like lighter ones here, which are like probably for during the day or something. There's also some individual lashes in here as well, but individual lashes, I don't know how to put them on because when I put individual lashes on, they don't come off. Like it's like I have eyelash extensions on and when I try and take them off, like, 
my eyelashes come off as well so like my eyes are bold oh there's a roll of lashes well i love this mascara and it's full size as well i've never had a full size one i've only had the mini benefit you actually spoil me I, oh, I love you benefit if you're watching this anyone who works with benefit this next one is from Ico. I love Ico. My favourite thing from Ico is the brow gel, which they have sent another one of. Thank you so much, because my other one I'm pretty sure was about to run out because I've been using it daily. What I do is I basically use this brow gel every day, and then after using this brow gel, I use the Anastasia um, Dip Brow Pomade because when my eyebrows are like slightly wet from the brow gel, they're like pigmentation is so much more stronger on the the pigmentation is so much more stronger on the dip brow so it works out and I can't use the dip brow without this now because it feels so dry and just doesn't glide on as well. All in one brow definer and a brush. Oh my god, okay. Are these all brow thing? Yep, they are. I am not complaining about that. Oh, okay, so they have one in medium. They've sent one in medium and one in light. So a YouTuber called Sophie has just released her new collaboration with Revolution. So she, like, collaborated with them on producing a makeup palette. And she did an eyeshadow palette and also a highlighter palette. And I was legit going to buy one for myself when I saw it in, like, Superdrug or whatever. But I, like, literally got home today, opened my P.O. box, and... I was sent the collection and I honestly, right, I've owned a blush and contour palette from Revolution and like I lived by it, like I swore by it like daily and then I lost it or am I still, I don't know, I just stopped using it for some Anastasia, the Anastasia cream contour kit replaced it, I just realised that's a bit awkward. Hi, my camera died. So whilst my camera battery was dead, I like had to play around with the palettes and like post it on my social media and stuff, but like just to open the palette, like look at those colours. They are just so nice and there's such a range of colours. Like I said, like the burgundy, the green, the gold. I love them all. And then the highlighter palette as well. The pigmentation on the highlight is incredible. I've got it on the back of my hand. There's no light on it whatsoever and you can still see it reflecting loads. If you're new to my vlogs, during the day I show you what I'm up to and then at night we come back to the bedroom space, have a bit of a chit chat, a very one way conversation because I have no idea what you are saying if you say something because unfortunately I can't hear you. But you can hear me, so this is my chance to basically talk at you. Or if you are interested, then basically share my life. I'm going to go and edit my vlogs and stuff because I am a little bit behind because as I said, I kept having to like borrow people's laptops to edit on when I was at Jacob's and Kami's because my laptop was at home so that stopped me from editing as much. But I'm going to get back on that grind and film and edit and stuff and yeah. The vlogs will keep coming. I will vlog more or less every day, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. So, yes, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you in a future one. Bye, guys. <laughs> what was that? Bye. <laughs>